Turns out Baldi's impossible questions aren't so impossible after all. Hello everybody, I'm Kyle Kian, and today we solve Baldi's impossible questions. But despite solving these questions, Baldi keeps throwing them at us. It's not gonna stop us though. And we'll get to the bottom of whatever it is Baldi is up to. So stay tuned. Let's check out all of the questions that Baldi has thrown at us and some of the secrets that we've revealed by answering his questions. This should be a good time. This is this is version 1.4.1. This is just the game. Like this isn't even a mod, okay? Nothing special going on here. This is OG Baldi's basics. Look, we've even got 2019 basically games because they're so basic. Basically awesome. Anyways, uh, I thought that we'd check out the latest version of Baldi's Basics here. This came out just a couple of days ago, maybe a few days ago, depending on when this video actually comes out. But uh, it's it's relatively new, so there's some new stuff to see here in Baldi's Basics. I don't think there's any like dramatic changes, to be honest, but there is actually two very, very specific reasons why we're going to play this new version also that loading screen was was new it was, it was baldy's head just spinning it said load it's weird i love it but let me get to the nitty gritty here L let's talk about what's really going on and like this is kind of insane if, if it's actually real but basically i got a message on twitter a dm a direct message from none other than first price i'm not even making it up I got a message from someone on Twitter who goes by the name of First Prize, and their avatar was First Prize. So First Prize sent me this message. So it has to be legit. He's a robot who lives in the game. It's got to be real. So this is what First Prize sent me. This picture here with these arrows. Arrows. Pointing. These Easter eggs work in game. Use it. He's very bossy. I didn't realize how bossy of a robot this first prize guy was. But apparently, these are answers that are, like, actually correct for Baldi's impossible question. Like, that seems kind of insane. Because we've played mods that let us do this. But we've never actually seen this in-game, so I'm actually really interested to see if this honestly works. Like, th this is this is gonna be unprecedented if it actually works. So let's answer these questions correctly. Actually, I think what I'm gonna do is, is answer, I'm gonna like get the game going here. So three minus six, negative three, right? And then we're gonna answer this problem wrong. Then we're gonna continue to do so. But at some point, we are going to type in what appears to be the correct answer, which is three one seven one eight there's actually two of them so i'm actually kind of interested to see if either of them work we have two chances for greatness so oh no i didn't i did i didn't i didn't though i did i uh, oh, this is not going well guys okay baldy's coming right back yep we're gonna lose because i am a dummy hey good news though game's still real hard it's really really hard please let me out let me out Oh my gosh, he was right behind me. Wow, that was scary. Okay, first prize. Hey, buddy. Hey, it's good to see you. Thank you for this message that you sent me. I I, I really appreciate it. I'm interested to know if it actually works, buddy. D or are you trolling me? Is this weird robot vacuum man trolling me? I don't know. Could be. We're going to find out very shortly, though. I promise. I just need to get to a notebook without... <sighs> <laughs> playtime don't mess this up for everybody please playtime did she she lost track of me Ooh, this is good this is great news oh this is terrible news and very sad i am very upset by this playtime my gosh no stop let me go let me go at least it's not infinite we've had our fair share of infinite playtime jumps okay i'm running I shouldn't be because I hear the principal whistling, but I don't want Baldi to catch up to me. We're going to go straight for this classroom right here. This is our chance. 
This is our chance for glory. 31718. Why? Like, what is the significance of that number combination? It's such a random series of numbers. I don't know. I mean, maybe it's the creator's favorite number. What's your favorite number? Oh, 31,718. Duh. What's yours? Four? Oh, okay. Oh, well, cool. Four minus two. It's two. Eight minus two is six. Okay. This is the moment. Let's do it. Let's do it. Three. One. Seven. One. Eight. Cue dramatic music that should have been playing even before I started typing those numbers. Prepare to hit enter. Enter. What? Yeah. Uh. What? What is happening? I, um, I, I am very surprised that that worked. Not gonna lie. I was expecting a big red X, not a weird face looking at, is that Bully's face? Yo, Bully, you need to back off, dude. You're freaking me out and there's two of you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, what is happening? Why was there a wall there that I couldn't see before? What What is even written on the wall? What does that say? I don't, I don't understand what is happening. There's no noises. I hear nothing. I've got the mouse pointer on my screen as if I'm like still in the, the little typey thing I'm a bobber, you know, answering the math questions. I forget what it's called. You can learn two pad or something. I don't know. It, it's weird. I got a mouse clicker on my screen. It's freaking me out. Is there, is that a pathway? No, that wasn't a path pathway. Um, okay. You know what? Just take me away. Take me away. I'll, I don't mind. Hello? Am I? Am I dead? Okay, you're not doing anything. You're just, you're just phasing into my person. You're really, really upsetting my personal space here. <laughs> what is happening? Oh my gosh, this is really weird. Wait, was he pushing me? He was kind of pushing me for a second there. What happens if I click this, this cube? Maybe if I click the cube, something happens? This is, this is the strangest thing I think I've ever experienced in this game. Guys, I'm shocked that that actually works. So we answered the impossible question. Like, does that mean that this is the correct answer to the impossible Baldi question? What does it all mean? Is Bully really the mastermind behind everything in Baldi's school? What are you up to, Bully? That is Bully, right? Maybe it's not. Actually, now that I'm looking at this guy, isn't Bully's face kind of messed up? Yeah. Yeah, I just looked it up. That's not Bully's face. Bully, you know, his, his face isn't even round. It's not even a real shape. It's weird, actually. Sorry, Bully. Your, your, your face is shaped weird. Who's this guy? I feel like I've seen this guy. I've seen this guy in, in like some of the Roblox games that we've played. It's not Joe, honestly. I don't know who this weirdo is. But uh, here he is. Oh, some people are saying that this is some kind of secret character that was hidden in the code. W was it specifically for this like weird Easter egg? I don't know. I'm stumped. If you guys got some more lore for me, you know, bring it my way. I want to know whose face this is. Who are you and why are you chasing me? It's weird. Stop. Okay, how do I get out? Hello? Game? Game? Oh, good. I don't think there's any way out of here. Alt F4? Is that my only option? This is ridiculous. <laughs> Is there anything else in here? I don't understand. Man, this is weird. Oh, I think I know what it says on the walls. It says black holes. I think black holes, black hole. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it says black hole. Okay, that's weird. Maybe he's just a big fan of space. Speaking of space, you need to get out of my personal one. All right, just bag off. Those eyes are freaking me out. Okay. So, uh, that code was, was true, <laughs> which is like shocking. So thanks for his prize. Thanks for sending me a, a, a code that actually worked. You, he, he must've done his research, man. He's on to, he's on to Baldi secrets, giving away his secret answer to the impossible question. But here's the thing. There's another code. There's another series of numbers. It's a much longer one, but let's go for it. I guess I have to Alt F4. Okay, game has been properly reset. Uh, there, I, as far as I could tell, there was no like exit menu to access once we were in that world. It was weird and I didn't particularly like it, but 
I do have to admit that I am super, super excited that that actually worked. So I cannot wait to see what this code does. Please don't let me down here first prize. We're going to use the same methodology here. I want to make sure that I'm typing it in while he's asking me a question that is intended to not be answered correctly. Does that make sense? Because like all these, I can answer all of these. These are cool. And I'm probably not going to answer it on the... Uh, the notebook that's in here because like technically the game hasn't really started yet so i feel like you know maybe maybe it just won't work if we use it in here maybe it will but i want to take that risk i want to do things the way that baldy wants me to do things so i'm gonna answer this question as 12. i get angrier for every problem you get wrong no you don't don't lie baldy stop it i'm not scared of you anymore i now know the answer to your secret question your impossible question it doesn't scare me your power is gone now i hold the power i have all the leverage give me that ruler sorry the power is getting to my head i can't help it all right we are approaching the notebook now this uh series of numbers is a lot longer than the previous one and actually it's kind of weird because like how many numbers can you fit in the answer you know section of this of this little thing because this is eight numbers i don't know anyways let's answer this one and then let's answer this one and now we type in the answer clearly after doing some very very high level math here i have deduced what the answer is. Let's just ignore the fact that I got sent, you know, just a, a picture of message with the numbers in it. I'm, I did, I figured this out, okay? Cue dramatic music at the appropriate time, this time, before I start typing. Whoa. Five, three, zero, four, five, zero, zero, nine. I do have to say, I'm impressed, all the numbers fit. That's a good sign. Now, hit the enter key. It got wrong. Wait, use these to stick to the ceiling? Use... Excuse me? Guys, you might need to turn your monitors upside down. Turn those iPads, those those phones, whatever you're using right now. You're gonna have to turn that bad boy upside down because uh, the whole world is upside down right now. <laughs> what? <laughs> this is amazing please there's got to be more codes this is incredible i love this this has to be the coolest thing that we've ever found in baldy's basics hey rude upside down detention you know what honestly upside down detention it's not as bad as normal down detention right side up detention gosh the words this <laughs> it's insane. Okay, is the notebook gonna be upside down? Okay, good. That that would make things interesting. Seven minus two is five. Three minus five is negative two. And then like, like what happens if I type it in again? Let's try. Use these to stick to the ceiling. Do we go back to the floor? No, no, we do not. We continue to stick to the ceiling. Now we're just extra sticky. Oh uh, gosh, this is so disorienting. I. I'm having a hard time figuring out where I am right now. To be honest, wait, is this the main hallway? This is the starting hallway. Okay, maybe I'm not as disoriented as I thought I was. So if I go this way, does this take me to... Yeah, okay, so like the whole school is flipped. It's really, really messing with my head, but it's actually kind of cool. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I cannot believe that these codes actually worked. First prize, dude, VIP. For sure. Sharing all these secrets of Baldy. Oh, apparently, uh, you know, when when uh when you get sticky feet so you can you know stand on the ceiling, uh the, the broom has to actually sweep the ceiling as well. Wouldn't want dirty ceilings now, would we? This is insane. This is absolutely insane. So uh yeah, it actually this is like a, a new mode, technically. So uh I don't know. Are we going to have to do like an upside down Baldy challenge? Whoo, that seems super easy. You know, because Baldy's basics, it's too easy. I'm actually doing kind of good right now. Surprisingly good. I mean, it won't last, but 
Let's enjoy it while we can. Let's play upside down baldy mode for as long as we possibly can. Oh gosh, playtime. Oh, the cafeteria. This is so creepy because there's like no ceiling on the cafeteria. It's weird. I don't like it. So am I just standing on my hands? Is that what's happening? I've just learned how to do a handstand. I think that's basically what, what this boils down to. Did I already get this one? I don't remember. Let's check. No, I didn't get this one. Okay. And actually playtime's coming after me. So I got my scissors ready to go. Negative six. Okay. Oh man. That's six notebooks, not too shabby for an upside down playthrough. Oh, he's getting close though. Oh yeah, he's getting real close. I don't like that. Where's the last notebook? Oh, it's on the long hallway. Oh shoot. Nope, get out of here. Get out of here. I don't care how sad it makes you. Baldy is right behind me and it's very scary. Please go away. Please go away. Please go away. Stop. Please leave me alone. Baldi's right behind me. I'm gonna shoot him away. I'm gonna shoot both of them away, actually. Okay, it looks like Bully is uh, in our path. I guess that's okay. We're gonna have to give him our uh, candy bar. It's fine. Take my candy bar. Here you go, Bully. I'll take Enjoy that. that. Uh, you have to eat it upside down, though. So I hope that it's super hard. The last one is right in front of us, but Baldi is also right behind us. I can hear him. I'm so scared. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, we're so dead. We're going to get the last notebook, but beyond that, no chance. There's no chance. He's he's coming up too fast. Way too fast. Also, has this notebook always been yellow? I feel like that's a different color, but I don't know. Maybe I'm losing my mind. That's possible too. All right, let's accept our fate. Enjoy upside down angry Baldy. Congratulations. You found all seven notebooks. Now all you need to do is... Ah! <laughs> I knew it's coming to an end. Just kind of had to brace for impact. So I got to admit, like, I am incredibly surprised that those numbers actually worked. Up to this point, we've never had a legitimate answer to Baldi's impossible question. And now we have two of them. And they both work. And they both do something really cool and interesting and different. It's incredible. First prize, hooking me up. Thank you, first prize, wherever you are out there in YouTube land. Appreciate you sending me those codes. That was incredible. Oh, man. Welcome back to Baldi's Basics, but we're doing something very different today. As you guys already know, Baldi loves math. He teaches math. That's what he does. That's his thing. And most of his math problems, fairly simple fairly straightforward. Most humans can answer Baldi's math questions. However, at some point while you're playing the game, Baldi presents a question to you that is, for all intents and purposes, impossible. At least it appears that way. But what if you weren't a human? What if you were a robot? And that is precisely what we're going to try today. In case you guys are unfamiliar, this is Amazon Echo, but she prefers to be called Alexa. Hi, Alexa. Hello. See, she's a nice lady. She lives in this little round thing that looks kind of like a soda can. She is also very smart. Let me show you guys how smart she is. Hey, Alexa, do you know who Kindly Kian is? Here is a biography of Kindly Kian, family-friendly YouTuber who publishes gaming content from a variety of independent and mobile games. His content would be watched more than 732 million times. He is from California. That is kind of freaky, honestly. But in all seriousness, she can answer like insanely difficult math problems. So my hope is that maybe, just maybe, this smart little soda can lady can answer Baldi's impossible question. And so that is the challenge that we face today. Can robot lady defeat Baldi? Boy, that sounds way more epic than it actually is. Computer versus computer, technically. So let's get warmed up here. Let's see how Alexa does. Oh, also, I think uh, that moving forward here, I'm, I'm going to call her Echo. Only when I want her to, to respond and answer a question am I going to use her real name. Because every time I say her real name, she's w waiting. 
she's like what's up so echo here is gonna help us but let's let's warm things up let's give her some easy math problems baldy this is echo echo baldy uh, alexa say hello to baldy hello baldy she's see she's such a nice lady she's so nice all right so this is gonna be an interesting test here i'm gonna put my headphones on the echo i guess also i'm realizing she kind of looks like my microphone too it's weird now when you subscribe to my channel was this something that you thought you would ever see me either okay so now what i want to do is see if she can answer the question directly from baldy's mouth so i need to say her name and then give her the math problem so let's see if this works i have no idea if this is gonna work okay i'm just waiting for baldy to actually ask the question okay alexa did you not hear it but is there is there an issue here alexa what is three plus two three plus two is five well she i mean she is right but she couldn't hear baldy maybe i have to say what is alexa what is sorry can you say that again so i messed it up she didn't understand me I'm I sorry. Have an opinion on that. It, yeah, I know. It's just hold on. Hold your horses. I guess we'll just ask her the question. Alexa, what is six minus six? Six minus six is zero. She's definitely got it figured out. Smart lady. Let's try one more time. I don't know if this is actually gonna work though. Alexa, what is sorry, what was that? She didn't hear it. She just can't hear me. Five plus one. What is it? This might answer your question. Five plus one is six. That definitely answers my question. Thanks. Okay. I get the headphones back. She no longer gets headphones. I have to work as an interpreter. And actually, I forgot to mention, I actually got this idea from another YouTube video that I saw. It's by a user who goes by the name of Roblox Lover, and I will actually have a link to their YouTube video in the description down below so that you can see the original kind of reference for this whole video idea this is pretty clever stuff i didn't watch their entire video so i don't know if it actually worked on their end but you know either way experimentation is half the fun right so we're at the second notebook and you guys know the drill when we get to the third question it's gonna be the impossible question but before we get to that point let's give echo down here something really to work her computer brain with so I'm just gonna throw out like a random equation that I think would be super hard for a human brain to figure out right off the bat. Let's see how she does. Alexa, what is 4,623,325,122 divided by 563,100? 4,623,325,122 divided by 506 is 2,311,662,561, 250 thirds which is approximately 9.13701 times 10 to the 6. Okay, I mean, that was still pretty impressive. She didn't listen to my whole question though, lady. You gotta, you gotta cool it. She was so ready to answer that math problem. She's amped up. Okay, girl, hook us up. Alexa, what is zero minus nine? Easy. Zero minus nine is minus nine. You got this all day, girl. Okay, Alexa, what is four minus six? Four minus six is minus two. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Okay, here's where things get kind of very insanely interesting, I guess. So as you can see, the question is a bunch of gibberish, but I found an article on GitHub where someone broke down the actual code in the game. Martini was the name of this person who wrote this article. Again, I'll have a link in the description down below if you guys want to check it out for yourselves. It's way more in depth than anything I've ever done in Baldi's Basics. Very impressive. 
But after digging into the code, this person found the actual numbers that are buried in that gibberish, which is insane, actually. And if you look really, really closely, you can actually see that there's a plus in between this set of numbers and this set of numbers. And then there's a times in between this set of numbers and this set of numbers. So it's basically number plus number times number equals the answer to the impossible question. Hopefully. <laughs> It's all experimentation. So he broke it down in the code of Baldi's basics. Number one is 6812.190918. And you can kind of see those numbers there. You can see the point, but then you see like a bunch of numbers stacked on top of each other. It's insane. And then the second set of numbers is 4654.0. 022949. And then the final set is 6258.717285. So that is basically our equation for the impossible question. Now I just have to figure out how to say it to uh to our good robot lady can friend. Alexa, what is 6812.190918? Plus 4,654.022949. Wait! Plus 4,654 is 11,466.190918. You gotta wait for me, okay? You got you gotta you gotta hold your horses, lady. We're gonna try that again. Alexa, what is 6812.190918 plus 4654.022949 times 6258.717285? She wasn't listening. Alexa. What is 6812.190918 plus 4654.022949 times 6258. She just gives up. It's not working. She doesn't want to answer my question. Do you think that this is a joke? I think the issue is, is that the equation is just too long. So here's what I'm going to do. Let's break it down into two steps. We do the addition first, and then we do the multiplication. That is the answer. Okay, I am prepared to write down her answer to the first part of this equation. Okay, Alexa, what is 6812.190918 plus 4654.022949? Why do you hate me? Maybe I should genuinely ask her that. Alexa, why do you hate me? You seem all right to me. Really? Because you're not answering my math question and it's making me sad. Alexa, you're making me sad. Sorry, I don't know that. I'm mad. I'm real mad. She doesn't get the decimal points. Maybe if I do it in reverse order. You know what? Let's try. Alexa. What is 4,654.022949 plus 6812.190918? I messed up. I messed up. You're not the problem this time. I'm the problem. Alexa, what is 4,654.022949 plus 6812.190918? Sorry, I don't know that. You've disappointed the world. So that original video that I referred to, in his equation, he had no decimal points. He speculates that the question actually changes every time you start the game, but the decimal points don't count. So maybe if I take the decimal points out of the equation, then she can actually properly answer it. So the first number turns into 6 billion. The second number is over 4 billion. And the final number is over 6 billion. So it's gonna be a big number. So we're gonna try the same strategy, do the addition first, and then we do the multiplication. Alexa, 
What is 6,812,190,918 plus 4,654,022,949? Are you dead? Alexa? Alexa. What is 6,812,190,918 plus 4,654,022,949? Alexa, can I ask you difficult math equations? Sorry, I don't know that, but I do have a skill you might like. It's called Math's Question Game. Wanna try it? No. Has Baldy defeated our robot can lady? Is that what this boils down to? I'm so sad. I can't even ask the the length of the question. It's like she just gives up. She's like, I'm not listening anymore. Your question is too long. I'm I'm gonna go eat some toast. Baldy is too strong. He's too strong. He's defeated my greatest ally, my wonderful robot lady friend, Alexa. Tell me something that makes me feel better about myself, please. Hmm, I don't know that. She can't. There's nothing. We're hopeless. Make this music stop. I've been listening to it for way too long. I don't care. Take me away, Baldi. You win. So, can Amazon Echo answer Baldi's impossible third question? Alexa, say no. No. She answered it for us. No, she cannot. Baldi. His power is too great. This man must be stopped. Even the mightiest of all corporations, Amazon.com, can't defeat Baldi. But all that said, you know, I mean, I still like her and she's still nice to me and she can do stuff like, uh, like Alexa, what is pie? Pi is the mathematical number used to calculate the ratio of a circle's circumference to its diameter. It has an infinite number of digits, but is usually shortened to 3.14159 for the purpose of rough calculations. Pi is represented in formulas by the lowercase Greek letter, Pi. She, she's smart, but not smart enough. But either way, that was still a lot of fun. It was a weird idea that didn't exactly pan out, but at least we tried. Welcome back to Baldi's Basics. Last week, we attempted to have Amazon Echo figure out Baldi's impossible question. The most impossible of all math problems. She wasn't able to do it. I will admit that part of it was my fault. Like for instance, I completely forgot about that rule, PEMDAS, right? You're supposed to do multiplication first and then addition. But that said, she did not want to listen to the entire problem. It was like I was halfway through giving her the problem and she'd just be like, yeah, I've already got it figured out. No, you haven't heard me say all the numbers, lady. Cool it. Alexa, apologize to the people. Hmm, I'm not sure. Wow, okay, I see how it is. You're not even gonna say sorry. Fine, then we're done with you. Soda can lady. A lot of you guys suggested I use a calculator. That takes the fun out of it. Don't do that. We're here to talk to robot computer ladies that live in digital devices. That's a weird sentence. And you guys might recognize this device. This is an iPhone. Within the iPhone resides a, a robot lady that might actually be smarter than Alexa. Don't you dare. She's still here. Hey Siri, are you smart? wise man once said, I am so smart. S-M-R-T. That sounds like what a smart person would say. So today, we're gonna use a new robot lady, Siri, to try and answer Baldi's impossible question. Will it work? I have no idea. Will I eventually resort to just trying a calculator? Quite possibly yes, but first, the experimentation. Hello, Baldi. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get you, buddy. I'm, I'm coming for you and your impossible math question. It's driving me crazy, for real. All right, let's do some warm-up math with Siri. I haven't actually tested 
her mathematic skills. Hey Siri, what is six plus one? Six plus one is seven. She did it. She did it. Okay, great. Thank you. Hey Siri, what's eight plus one? Eight plus one is nine. Oh, sh this girl knows what she's talking about. A true champion amongst mathematic arithmetics. What? Hey Siri, what's six minus three? Six minus three is three. Easy. Okay, she can handle basic, simple arithmetic. But I'm gonna try the same thing that I did with the Echo. I'm gonna give her a math problem that that is like really, really dumb and hard. It's just gonna be a bunch of random numbers that pop into my head. But this time, I think I'm gonna check her answer. So let's just think of a weird set of numbers that we can divide. Division's always hard. How about 11 billion, 978 million, 36,802. Okay, divided by 43. I'm not gonna hit enter yet. I'm gonna give Siri this question, and then we're gonna see how right she truly is. Hey Siri, what is 11,978,036,802 divided by 43? 11,978,036,802 divided by 43 is about 278,558,995.39. Point three nine five three for those of you who are skeptical. Let's see what the calculator says. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She's right on the money. Although she got a little lazy. She didn't read the the point three nine five three four eight eight, which would have made it even more accurate. Shame on you, Siri. Shame on you. But regardless, that was still pretty impressive. Actually, I have an important question for Siri. Hey, Siri, what do you think of Amazon Echo? I offer no resistance to helpful assistance. Well, that was the most just baseline neutral answer you could have possibly given. I want you throwing shade at this, this thing. Decimate her. Leave her with nothing to grasp for. Look at her. She's just a, a soda can with weird fabric on the outside. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm starting a fight that doesn't need to start. They're both wonderful robot ladies, but right now, Siri's in the limelight. All right, we have proven that Siri is more than capable of answering very difficult math problems. Give me my quarter. I'm watching you. Oh, <laughs> ooh, buddy, you watch your back. All right, let's 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 go get the notebook. Just for the sake of consistency here, let's let her answer all the questions. Hey, Siri, what is five minus three? Five minus three is two. Yeah, you got this all, all day. What's zero plus eight? It's eight. Yeah, I mean, she even the way she said that, she's like, are, are you serious? Like, you can't figure that out uh, on your own? Are you okay, human? Yes, I'm fine, thank you. I'm just doing it for the sake of the internet, okay? All right, here we go. <laughs> I might cry. Try not to, though, because, uh, you know, there is hope, maybe, possibly. I will mention that I went back and watched that uh, Roblox Lover video that I kind of got this idea from. He did some weird shenanigans talking about like the Amazon Echo going into Baldi's database and whatnot. Um, I don't think Baldi has a database. He came up with the, the very, very high level answer of six and it did work for the record, but I don't think six is the answer to this problem. You guys know what I think is the answer. It's 12, obviously. I mean, it's such a better number, duh. But here we are, faced with the most epic of all impossible math problems. Look at Baldi's smug face. Oh, you stinky math teacher. You're going down, or maybe not. So I am returning to Martini's Breaking Baldi article here on GitHub. Once again, I'll have a link in the description down below. It was in the last video. Very, very interesting article about how he breaks down the actual code inside of the game and extracts the numbers that are behind all this gibberish. Now, one of the theories is that these numbers actually change 
from every time you launch the game. I don't know if that's actually true. If it were, it, it would completely discredit everything that Martini has done here on this article. So I'm gonna go with it does it. It stays the same. So we have our numbers. <laughs> now we just need to present them to our robot phone friend. And I don't know how she handles the decimals. We may or may not have to convert them to just whole numbers instead of decimals, but let's try it with the decimals. Hey Siri, what is 6,812.190918 plus 4,654.022949 times 6,258.717 6,812.190.9 times 6,258.7172 is about 29,130,000. Oh what? She actually paid attention to me. That's all I want from my robot digital assistants. Just, just, just listen to the whole question. She, she did it. Wait, 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 where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where? Hey Siri, what was that again? Sorry, there's nothing to repeat. No, it went away. It disappeared. I have to give her the equation again. <laughs> but she totally answered it. She listened to me. I feel so special. You hear that? That's all you had to do was just listen to me. But no, you have your own agenda. Go back to your table. I apologize to the Amazon Corporation. I still fully endorse your your Amazon Echo. I just, you know, I just, I'm just, I'm just frustrated. Okay. It, and, and listen, call me up. We can talk sponsorships. I'm totally down. Please don't hate me. We can still be friends. Jeff Bezos. You have my email. Okay. Here we go again. Hey Siri. What is 6812.190918 plus 4654.022949 times 6258.717285? Here we go. 6812.0909 okay. plus 4654.0229 times 6258.7172 is about 29,130,000. 5026.0666. Okay, I've typed in the answer. However, I will note that in the You Can Think pad, you can't add decimal points. Will Baldy accept my answer? 29,135,026.0666. Let's go. That hurts. It's not your fault, Siri, but that does hurt. It's okay. There's still more opportunities here. Let's not give up hope. We're now going to take out the decimal points, which means that I have to convert these into whole numbers again. And uh, I got to do that on a notepad. All right, there's our equation converted into whole numbers. No more decimal points. It's going to be a very, very large number. So let's get back to the impossible question here in Baldi's basics. You know what's funny that I never really thought about is that you don't have to get the uh, the second notebook on the right hand side second. You can grab this notebook first. I never do that. <laughs> I always grab the one that's on the left first. Force of habit, I guess. Let's change it up today. It's probably not gonna do anything, but why not try something a little bit different? All right, here we are. The impossible question still looks quite impossible. Okay, here we go. Hey Siri, what is 6,812,190,918 plus 2,768,000 plus 4,654,022,949 times 6,258,717,285? Six billion eight hundred twelve million one hundred ninety thousand nine hundred eighteen plus two billion six hundred. We gotta type it in. Twenty two thousand nine hundred forty nine times six billion two hundred fifty. Eight million seven hundred seventeen thousand two hundred eighty five is about one point six six one times ten to the nineteenth power. What? How is that even a real thing? 
Okay! <laughs> so I typed in that very, very long number. It took the whole thing. Um, I can, yeah, we can scroll through the, the whole number right there. It is a lot. Please, Bali, accept my answer. Let's go enter. That's a mad Baldy. That's a very, very mad Baldy. I'm bummed. I'm not gonna lie. I'm bummed out. If it was gonna work, I feel like that was it. And it's not the robot phone lady's fault. It's Baldy's fault. He's cheating. That's what it boils down to. Baldy is a liar and a cheater. I'm calling you out, bald math man. Fight me. Let's go. Man, I'm really confrontational today. I just, I just really was hoping that I could get that problem right. <laughs> I can't do it. It is truly impossible. Maybe there's still a way, I don't know. We gave it our best try. We've tried two different robot ladies and neither of them were able to solve the mystery of Baldi's impossible math problem. If the computer ladies can't do it, who can? If you guys have any ideas for things that we can try in the future, let me know in the comment section down below. Hey Siri, even though you weren't able to answer that question, you're still awesome to me. She said, I'm not sure I understand. But that is gonna do it for this episode, guys. I hope that you still enjoyed it. Like I said, experimentation is half the fun. Did it work? No, it didn't. If you see the title of this video, you can just skip straight to the end if you don't wanna have any fun and just find out the answer. But I mean, what fun is that? We have a mission to fulfill. We have to go get a Google Home because I don't actually own one. So come along. Uh, the plan is to go to the local Best Buy. I just looked it up. It's, it's there. They have the Google Home Mini, which is the one I'm going for because it's the cheapest one and I don't need a big fancy Google Home to accomplish this mission. Also, Seth woke up super early this morning, so he just went back down for a nap. So I'm hoping that I can get this all done before he wakes up. So come join me on this journey. I've successfully made it to the car. I had to find my keys though, and that was way harder than it should have been. But I'm, I'm gonna turn off the camera because it would be like super unsafe to drive while holding the camera like this. I'm not gonna do that. Not to mention I'd probably get like pulled over, get in all kinds of trouble. Anyways, to Best Buy! Okay, I've successfully made it to Best Buy. Hello, there's Best Buy. That probably looks like the Best Buy that you go to because every Best Buy looks exactly the same. Also, for the record, uh, it was supposed to be raining today. Uh, I don't see any rain. I feel like that's a pretty not rainy day. But anyways, we're going in, we're getting what we need to get. Well, that was like stupid easy. It was right here. There, there they are, that this is what we need. Google Home Mini, the answer to all of our mathematical questions. We've done it. But since I'm here, I'm probably gonna grab something else. All right, we did it. I survived and there's no rain, so that's pretty cool. I actually ended up getting not only the Google Home, but I also got a Nintendo Switch light because uh, I, I've been wanting one and uh, now I have one, so you know, that's cool. I figured since I'm out, I should probably get my wife some breakfast, so I got her McDonald's. I know her order. Sausage egg McMuffin with no muffin. So it's a sausage egg. That's it. Uh, no, a sausage egg mick. But if you say that, they'll be like, what are you talking about, you weirdo? Although I would kind of be amazed if they knew what I was talking about. Anyways, I need to pay the nice people. Okay, bye. Okay, I've made it home. I'm gonna deliver breakfast to my wife and then we're taking down Baldy. Look who's awake. So uh, I'm gonna spend some time with Seth and then we'll get to Google homing Baldy or something like that. Anyways, see you in a second. All right, that was quite the adventure. I got my Google Home Mini, and along the way, I got a baby. I kinda like him. I think I'm gonna keep him. So first things first, I gotta unpackage this thing. You wanna help me, Seth? Can you can you help me un unpackage the, the Google Mini box? There's, oh, here we go. Oh, that's nice. Look at this. There's like this, this pull tab. Here, I'm gonna do it. Watch this. This is gonna be the most satisfying thing you've ever seen on the internet. 
Oh, that was amazing. And then it just folds open like that, and then you pop this bad boy out. I have no idea how to use this thing, for the record. Just start with OK Google. OK, I gotta plug it in. Where's the power? Seth, where's the power cord? Now the question is, is the power cord long enough for me to get it to the top of my desk? I think so. I think we're good. I think I've done it. Yeah, OK. Plug it in. OK. It's plugged in. It's on. Now I need to connect it to my Wi-Fi. I have no idea how to do that. I should probably look at the instructions. Welcome to Google Home. To get started, download the Google Home app on a phone or tablet. OK. Thank you for letting me know. This is starting to feel more and more like a Google sponsored video. For the record, it's not. It's just the first time I've ever set up one of these things. But you know, Google, hey, <laughs> if you want to hook your brother up, you know, I mean, I'm sure we could work something out. Just, just say it, call me. All right, I think it's set up. Okay, Google, tell me a joke. What do cats eat for breakfast? I have Mice no Krispies. Mice Krispies, very clever. Very clever. Okay, Google, what sound does a whale make? This is a whale. Yeah, I think it works. So I've successfully configured my Google Home. I, I feel very accomplished. With a baby strapped to me, no less. Dad stuff, you know. So you guys know the drill. First, we need to warm up our new Google friend. So let's give her some easy math problems and then we'll go from there. All right, here we go. Easy enough. Okay, Google, what is eight plus one? The answer is nine. She's pretty fast, I gotta say. I'm kind of impressed, honestly. We've done this with Siri, we've done this with Alexa. Both of them took a little bit more time to get the answer calculated. She works pretty fast. I mean, it's literally the first math problem that we asked her, so it's not that big of a deal. I'm just saying. Okay, Google, what's five plus four? The answer is nine. Yeah, I mean, you got two of the same answers in a row. It's very impressive. Okay, Google, what is seven plus eight? The answer is 15. She says it with such confidence, too. It gives me more confidence. Where did the baby go? Nah, he's, he's right behind me, actually. He's, he's in his little play thing. He was tired of being in the, the weird backpack, forward pack. I don't even know what that thing is called. It's just like a baby chest baby holder. That's the best I could come up with. So he's gonna hang out on that thing right behind us while I ask a robot lady to answer math questions. So obviously those questions were very, very easy. Let's give her something a little bit harder, just like off the top of my head. Okay, Google, what is 72,345,000 times 16.2? The answer is 1,171,989,000. I mean, she said that with supreme confidence, I'm gonna believe her. I don't even know what I said, so I can't really check her work. Okay, so I have a math problem in the calculator that I don't know the answer to. The calculator will know the answer to. Let's see if Google knows the answer to it. Okay, Google, what is 9,640,000 times 27? The answer is 260,280,000. Let's see. 260,280,000. So she got that pretty easy. I gotta be honest with you though, that math problem wasn't like that hard. But I think we need to move things along because baby's getting restless. So you guys know the drill. I'm using this article that was written by someone who goes by the name of Martini. I've linked it in the previous videos. He basically broke down the code and extracted the question out of Baldi's basics. So this question that Baldi gives us, that he presents to us is th this. I mean, it's just a bunch of jumbled numbers and possibly letters too. I don't know, but he's extracted it from the game. However, one of the going theories is that it changes every time you launch the game, which is extremely frustrating because I don't know how to extract the code out of the game while it's running on the fly. So I don't know if the numbers are changing from time to time. Also, in addition to that, there are decimal points in these Th these numbers. The weird thing is, is that I don't really see a decimal point, although like this could be a decimal point, I guess. This could be two right here, but it could also be like the bottom of a R. <laughs> I don't know. It's really, really hard to translate what this mess of numbers and letters is, but 
we're doing the best we can and we're using the the ultimate in technology to try and figure it out okay so the numbers that are presented to us in this math problem from that article that i'm telling you guys about are very long i'm gonna do the best i can I have to dictate them to the robot lady, and she then needs to give us the answer. It's a lot of work, I gotta take a deep breath. And remember, PEMDAS. We do multiplication first, then addition. So that's how I'm gonna break it down. So it's the last two numbers that we have to do first, because they are multiplied together. Okay, Google, what is 4,654.0229 times 6,258.7172? Sorry, I'm not sure how to help. <laughs> she can't even, she can't even answer it. That's the worst response we've gotten so far. You're really letting me down, lady. Hold on, let's give that another shot. Okay, Google, what is 6,812.1909 times? Oh no, I did the wrong numbers. Sorry, I'm not sure how to help. Okay, Google, what is 4,654.0229 times 6,258.7172? Sorry, I'm not sure how to help with that yet. She can't do it. She cannot do it. Let's just give her the straight numbers without the decimal points. Okay, Google, what is 4,654 times 6,258? The answer is 29,124,732. I wanted to write that down, but I can't because she said it so fast. Okay, Google, can you give me that answer again? The answer is 29,124,732. Okay, 29,124,732. That's quite a number. And then we need to add the first number to that. I can do that. Okay, Google, what is 29,124,732 plus 6,812? The answer is 29,131,544. Okay, I believe you. That looks about right. So let's type in the answer and see if we can finally defeat Baldy. Went through all this trouble, went all the way to Best Buy, picked you up, paid for you. Don't let me down, lady. She's going to let me down, isn't she? Seth, is she gonna let me down? No? You think she's gonna do it? I don't know. He doesn't have much confidence either. Here we go. 29,131,544. Enter! Hi. It didn't work! <laughs> it didn't work. It did not work. Okay, Google, tell me a joke. What do cats eat for breakfast? Mice Krispies. You already told me that joke. Okay, Google, tell me a different joke. What do you call a shoe made out of a banana? A slipper. <laughs> I don't feel any better. Well, that was quite the adventure for complete and utter disappointment. Do you guys have any more theories as to how we can make this work? Like I said, one of the going theories is that that number changes every single time you launch the game. How do I get the right number if it changes? If it's procedurally generated, how are you ever supposed to get the right number? It feels like Baldi's impossible question is truly the most impossible of all impossibilities. You know what they say, if you put your mind to it, you can, you can do anything. But I feel like this math question is taking me down one one bit at a time, one robot lady at a time. So this was definitely the most requested robot lady that you guys had for me. But I don't know if there's more robot ladies out there. And I don't know if I'm willing to spend more on more robots to answer this question until we get to the bottom of what the actual numbers are. What are the numbers? Nobody really knows. Not even Seth. Not even Seth. But hopefully you guys still enjoyed that video. I did the best I could. At least I got to go out and uh, do like a little mini vlog within the video. So that was fun. And uh, I mean, for what it's worth, this thing is, is still pretty cool. I'm gonna keep it here in my office and use it from time to time when I find, you know, appropriate uses for it other than just a calculator. But I'm still stumped as to how we can actually find the answer 
to Molly's impossible question. I mean, honestly, I guess I could have circumvented all of this pain and trouble and just used a calculator, but I think I said this in previous videos, half the fun was kind of, you know, experimenting. No robot lady can defeat Baldi. Not yet, but maybe one day. Welcome to Baldi's Basics Classic Remastered. It's a lot of words. That's right, Baldi's back and he's remastered. I'm not sure exactly what that means, but I'm excited to be here. And I hope that you guys are too. How to play. We all know. Yeah, your friend left his note booze at school as usual. Can you get them for him so he won't be late for eating practice? That's gotta be new, right? <laughs> eating practice. It won't be an easy though. Baldi always challenges his students with tricky questions. Answer correct, correctly, and it will be a piece of cake. That was profound, Baldi, thank you. So there is new stuff in this game and we're gonna hunt it all down. But let's start with classic style. Ooh. Fun settings, okay, so you have to beat the different modes to unlock fun settings. Fun, fun. Everything's fun with Baldi. Of course, he has all the high scores. Let's start. Oh, boy. Oh, oh check this out. We got captions. Uh, yeah. Now we can read your words too, Baldi. Incredible. All right, I know the drill. Uh, whoa. The, even the doors have captions. Okay, that's pretty sweet. Slam. I love this. Into the you can think pad. Oh, dang, dude, this looks this looks so good. I mean, it, it's still baldy. It doesn't look amazing, but it looks differently. Wait, what did he say? He said something different. He said something different. He said something about like getting something special. I don't know. Anyways, let's let's answer Baldi's questions. Yes. Yes. Oh, the music's got a little extra jam in there. I'm digging this. All right, negative six. I can still math. Oh. All right. Yeah. I got it. I got it all day, every day. Boom. I do exist. Thank you for reaffirming that. Yeah, I'm gonna get my prize. It's a shiny quarter. Of course it is. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Even though it's the same exact thing he's always said, it feels so new. Mostly because there's captions. And check it out. The bus is out here. Can I just get on the bus? What? I was not expecting that door to open. Hello? I'm leaving. I'm out of here. I don't want to do your math anymore. All right. Can't get on the bus. That's going to make things harder. To, I mean, to get out of here. Baldi says, you can't hide from me. Ha ha. That's not what that chalkboard used to say. We're already finding new stuff. I love it. Okay. Eight plus. You've never said that before. I feel so honored. <laughs> I mean, we spent so much time together, Baldi, and and you've you know you've given me a, a run for my money from time to time. But for you to say something like that, that, that touches my heart. Smarter than him. Wow. Whoa! I think you might be smarter than me. He said it again. Oh, Problem here it comes. Three. Here it comes. Divided by. Oh, we're dividing. Minus. They changed the sound, which is much less upsetting. It's still upsetting, but it wasn't quite as bad. Not as screechy, I guess. Um, 12? It's not, it's not right. Of course it's not right. Why would it be right? Okay, all right, we're doing this. Ooh, so let's see if uh, if we can have a successful run of Baldi's Basics Classic Remastered in the classic mode. Whoa, check that out. Supplies Closet got a new door. Congratulations. Got a sweep. You, you got a fresh new door. Yay. Okay, so my question is, with the captions on, do we get kind of a little bit of a an advantage like will that will that whistling get closer or like will the caption get bigger as the principal gets closer <laughs> i don't know this this is still really cool 12. still not 12. who would have thought uh everyone gets detention i quit 
Wow, that's a bit of an extreme measure there. Hello, Baldy. It's always nice to see you. I hear playtime. The music is... Is, that's so cool, you see that? The caption? As playtime got further and further away from us, the caption actually got smaller on the screen. Wow. This is awesome. <laughs> okay, he's close. Yep, principal's close. It, it really does kind of feel like uh, captions are, are giving me a, a slight advantage. Oh, what? You can only buy one... One B soda. Okay, fair enough. I'm grabbing this notebook. All right, two, 11, 12. He's done it. Hey, you're not supposed to get this close. Oh no. Okay, we're gonna make you cry because that's how we roll. Hello, principal. I'm not running. I'm doing nothing wrong. You're doing everything wrong. Maybe I shouldn't call him out like that. All right, uh, grab a, a B soda. Easy, easy enough. Okay, get another notebook. Which notebooks do we still need? Try to think, we need the middle one. Oh, and the far side one that we had to pass. Okay, you know what? I think we might be able to pull this off. I love that I have a B soda in my pocket. That makes me very happy. I don't love that playtime is after me right now. Oh, and, and the slaps are getting closer. And the whistling's getting closer. Ooh. I don't love this. Okay. Yeah, yeah. thank you for going the other way. I actually appreciate that a lot. Don't... Oh my gosh, I just accidentally launched a B-Soda at pretty much the worst time possible. That's, um... That's gonna cause some, some issues. Gosh, I just... I accidentally hit the right click. Yeah, take my scissors. Fine, whatever. I didn't like them anyways. The world is big. Class dismissed. I've learned so much today. Oh no. All right. We're down to the last notebook. Baldy is going this way. And to be perfectly honest, the captions are what told me that, which is kind of insanely awesome. Yep, there he is. Oh man, a B soda would be real nice right now, huh? Yeah, yeah. Oh no. No. No, not like this. Okay, okay. Oh my gosh, really? Guys, really? How do I jump? Oh, I have to I have to left click. I kept hitting space bar. Oh my gosh. <sighs> well, it certainly wouldn't be Baldi's basics without a little bit of chaos and pain. Let's go party style. I want to party with Baldi. Hey, cool hat. Thanks for inviting me. It seems super nice here. Look at all the balloons. Okay, I want to hear what he says here. Answer the three questions correctly, and you might get something special. Why is the correctly all like weirded out right there? That I don't know. Some weird stuff going on with Baldy, as as we've determined over the years of spending so much time with him. All right, party time. Uh, sweet, I got a swinging door lock as a gift from Baldi. Appreciate that. Problem one. What are we celebrating? We're celebrating the return of Baldi. That's what the party is all about. Okay, so I guess in this mode, um, you can't actually tell what items you're picking up because they're wrapped and they're randomized. So you just, you never know what you're gonna get. You know what? I have a plan. Check this out. Shablam! Take that, Baldy, dummy. Let's grab another present. It's a quarter. Could you imagine getting a quarter as a gift? <laughs> Someone goes through the trouble of wrapping a quarter. They probably spent more money on the box and the wrap. It's just an insult. All right, let's grab another notebook. So far, so good. That lock actually uh, gave us a nice little head start, which I'll take it. Let's grab another gift. A B soda? Don't mind if I do. Thank you. So Baldy just sat there and tried to open that door. I thought he goes around, but it seems like he just kind of gets stuck, which makes the lock like super powerful. It's kind of sweet. Baldy's real mad, in case you were wondering. 
But we can use this, right? We can use this cassette. Do, do you do you put that over here? Is this is this right? I don't remember how any of this stuff works because I never use these features. Oh gosh, this is not good. This is extremely bad. Get out of here. Oh, keep pushing him, please. Push him further away. Thank you. Thank you, game. You've saved me. I got scissors. One more notebook? Oh, that's not good. It's a beautiful cake. It's very big. Oh, no. <laughs> He's right behind me. Oh, this is not good. This is not going to end well, right? Yeah, I can't. I can't run fast enough. He's going to catch up to me. There's no chance. There's no chance. Oh, that's an interesting thing, too, that I just noticed. So if you have a full inventory and you pick up an item, it doesn't make the item disappear. You actually just swap them. That's not the way it used to work. All right, so clearly this is not going great. Let's go to demo style. Get a taste of some of the new content you can find in Baldi's Basics Plus now in early access, which we've played, but I think there's even newer stuff in here, which seems awesome. Welcome to my Welcome demo. To my demo. Oh, he's very excited about that. Welcome to my demo. All right, we've got the math machine on the demo mode. That's going to make things interesting for sure. I like this, though. I like this change to the, the normal formula. What the heck is happening? Okay, uh, I mean... <laughs> There we go. Yep, that's uh, what I expected. There's the, the I, I forget that dude's name. The Chalk guy. We'll call him Chalky. Pretty sure that's not his name. Today's lesson, how to eat cheese. Ooh, I'm excited about that one. I've always wondered. Okay, pay attention to the whistles. Don't get caught. Boom, mission accomplished. Six plus three, nine. Give me my nine. Thank you. Thanks, Baldy. I love that line. Gives me a lot of self-confidence, you know? Seven. Seven. Go. Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate all of your hard work. Oh. Oh, we have we have hazards. Baldy doesn't make noise anymore. Um, that's bad. Yeah. Yes. Yes, this is not good. Hey. Hey, um... I'm just gonna, just gonna go this way. All right. Please don't turn around. Playtime. Seven. All right. That's four notebooks. Let's get out of here fast before Chalky wakes up. Definitely not his name. But I'm sticking to it. There's a window here. That, that's new. Nine minus six is three. Give me the three. Beautiful. I gotta grab the notebook. I keep forgetting to actually grab the notebook. So which notebooks are left? I, I I don't know. Okay, principal is right around the corner. Oh, this isn't great. Please, please don't push me back. Okay, okay. Did I get this one? No, I need to go back. Oh, we've got we've got Cloudy Copter. That's his name, right? All these right around the corner, dude. Why are you doing this? Don't do this. This is a terrible decision. Okay, it it, it actually paid off. Ooh, one more notebook. Oh, no, no. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no. Did I... Oh, did I get this one? What is happening? Oh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna vomit. Oh, no. I didn't get this one. It's nine. No, I did get this one. Where do I go? Oh, my gosh. Wait, even Baldi's confused. Okay. Uh, that's kind of helpful. Oh, dude. Dude, no. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I kind of know where I need to go, though. Oh, I need to get around you. Yep. Yep. That's going to make me barf. Oh, everybody is upside down, man. Did I get this notebook? It's going to make me get... 
Nope, I already got this one. Which one am I missing, dude? I don't know which one I'm missing. And I'm so disoriented right now. Oh, what's gonna happen? The fog machine, no. Why you gotta hurt me like this, Baldy? Okay, I'm blasting him so that I can survive. Okay, principal's close. Don't run. It's gotta be this one, right? This is the only room that I don't- Hey! Why though? I got pushed in there by the stupid broom! All right, this is fine. This, this is fine. This is totally fine. I can't- Robbed, got absolutely robbed. So we attempted all of the styles, failed. We got close, man. It's so frustrating. So much RNG in this game. I love it, but I hate it. But I have a solution. We're gonna cheat. <laughs> I wanna see the new stuff, okay? And I don't wanna be here for 12 hours. So I have this handy dandy mod menu by Old Sport. And with the power of this, I can give myself infinite stamina. I can also give myself the power to go through walls. That seems pretty good. So let's use our newfound power to destroy Baldi. Well, to, to win, actually. Just, we just want to win. All right, you don't scare me, Baldi. I can go through walls. <laughs> so um, I'm going to try to do this without getting too lost. Um, I think I can just go through this wall and go ahead and grab... <laughs> This is so overpowered. I love it. All right, we'll grab this notebook over here. And you know what? We're gonna answer everything incorrectly because we're just mocking Baldi at this point. All right, we have one more notebook. It's right here. Go ahead and grab that bad boy. Easy enough. I love it. I love it. Okay, we can still get caught, which is kind of annoying. I think we'll be okay. Yeah, I think we'll be okay. I lied. I'm not okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me, let me out. What, how's this? What? Does this not work because, because I could fly? What, what's the issue here? Um, okay, we might have to turn no clip off in order to actually trigger the exits? I don't really know. No running in the hallways, but you didn't say anything about going through walls in the hallways. Let's see what happens. Yeah, I just, I go through. Okay, wait, here, we'll toggle it off. There we go, there we go. And then we toggle it back on. Cause I am a mega cheater right now. What's going on with the music? This is freaking me out. And it's slowly turning red. It is so red. Oh my gosh, this is weird. This is definitely different and honestly a little creepier. Uh, uh, there's some, some different noises happening. Someone just turned on their lawnmower in my ears. Appreciate that. It's very fun. Baldi has no idea where we are right now, which makes me very happy. Toggle that off. Okay. One more. Gosh, it is so red. <laughs> it's is ridiculous. Holy cow. All right, this is it. Final door. Freedom. He's done it. Please try and do worse. Is the game going to crash? Oh, just unlocked mirror mode. Oh, gosh. Is that basically upside down Baldi all the time? Cool. Okay, so now we destroy party mode. We're going to be the official party pooper. Am I still no clipped? No, I'm not. All right, that's fine. Whatever. Make him mad. Make him real mad. <laughs> I'm sorry for ruining your party, Baldi. I think we can just go through this wall over here. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right, man, Baldi is moving really, really fast. What's inside the cake? Let's find out. Nothing. All right, well, that's disappointing. A cake full of no cake? It's a hollow cake? What kind of nightmare party is this? Okay, 
Got all the notebooks. Now we go to the exits and we make some weird stuff happen. Yep, yep. Man, look at Baldy. Even full sprint, he's still faster than us. That is terrifying. In fact, I'm almost scared to do this. Uh, all right. Oh, he was right there. Now that would be extra embarrassing. Losing to Baldy while cheating. Gosh, these noises are so creepy. Oh my goodness. All right. I think we're almost there. I think this is it. Boom. I feel so honored. I am the honored guest of the Baldi's Basics Classic Remastered party. Um, why are you guys flying? What is, what? Hello? Um, oh, oh, I guess I'm flying too. Oh, okay, sure. What is that? What? What am I? Um. What are these noises? Nani? Um. Um. Eleven. Ten. What is happening? When you have the will, don't say never. Just leave those thoughts. Uh-huh. Okay. I have eight of eight notebooks. Where am I? <laughs> what is this place? I don't like it here anymore. I I'm assuming that I shouldn't touch those baldies, but I need to get through here. Please let me through. What, what, what? Count the balloons. How many of each color can you find? What? For real? The, where are the balloons? I don't know where the balloons are. Oh my goodness. This is insanity. Let me out. I don't want to be here anymore. What, what is this? Give me more cookies. Those are the first words I ever said. And you know what? I never got any dang cookies. Okay. Someone's very upset about this cookie situation. I'm sorry about that. I don't like it here. You're, you're the sad one. <laughs> what is this? Okay, okay. Does the game know that I'm cheating? Is that what's happening here? Is this anti... Troll cheating? What? Hello. Okay, I can go through you. Cool. Oi! Hello, gentlemen. It's good to see you all here partying. You good there, Baldy? We'll just go ahead and answer the questions. Um, he seems great. T totally normal. What is this noise that I'm hearing? <laughs> uh, uh, Baldi's office. <laughs> hey. Hello. A banana. A banana. What happens if I... Okay, I can just go through them. The, 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 what? Why are they here? Hey, I made it back. I don't think that's necessarily a good thing. I'm just, like, so lost right now. There's that room with the balloons, but I didn't see any balloons. At least not up here. Should I turn on no clip? You know what? Let's turn on no clip. Maybe we can... Maybe we can find something that we couldn't see before. Oh my gosh, there's so many balloons, but they're on the first floor. I don't think it expects us to count those. Does it? <laughs> That'd be really messed up. I don't know. 
There's a lot. Blue balloons. I'm counting the blue balloons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I think twelve? Is that twelve? I can't go past nine. <laughs> okay, this is absolute insanity. Oh! What? Wait, wait. Is this like some kind of weird teleporter? Hello? Did you guys see that? Okay, I've got a I've got a no clip in there. What the heck? Um hello scared Baldy? What? This has to be the weirdest Easter egg we've ever found in Baldi's basics. What is this? Why is Baldy so scared? Slash sad. Slash curled up in a ball. Okay, can I get out of here? Did that count as winning? It did. We unlocked lights out mode. Okay, cool. Okay, now, last step, finish the demo. A few moments later. Um, what is this? Bladders simples in education school scary grandma game? Don't end up like me. If you made bootleg baldy games, you'll be trapped in the walls of your school forever. What? <laughs> <gasps> Bladder. It's Baldi's brother. Why? I hate that. Um, okay. Cool. Say hello to Bladder, the, the new teacher. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is insanity. Also, I'm upside down and I hate it. Um, what is this room? <laughs> what is this? Oh my gosh. I, I... I don't understand anything anymore. Nothing makes sense and it doesn't matter. I'm... I'm so scared. <laughs> okay, Baldi knows where we are. He knows... He knows we're in the walls. Oh good, he turned on his fog machine. That'll make things interesting. Okay, the final door. Demo mode. Well, there's more fun to be had in Baldi's Basics. Plus. Wow. wow! Okay. Oh, good. Hard mode, as if the game wasn't hard enough already. Okay, so now we have access to all these fun settings. What if we did everything together and then beat the game? We gotta try. Could you imagine doing this without cheats? <laughs> no. Me either. Okay, so it's not upside down, but everything is reversed. That's what the mirror mode does. Gosh. Okay, so this is gonna be a little disorienting, cause yeah, th this room is over here now. And now I'm lost. Th this is the hallway, right? Gosh, it's, it's dark and creepy too. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? Okay, I found a notebook somehow. Okay, do I go this way? Yeah, yeah, okay. I, I have some sense of, of where I am now, kind of, slightly. That's the edge of the world. Okay, never mind, I'm lost. <laughs> yes, I am very confused, but that's okay. I wonder what they do to make the game harder than it already is. Maybe they make Baldi move faster. Maybe all the characters move faster. That would make things harder. <gasps> you know what? Oh, I understand. Oh my gosh, the characters move while you're in the the you can think pad. I just realized <laughs> I panicked so hard right there. I thought Baldi was was going to catch us while we were inside of the you can think pad. Okay. That is definitely something that makes the game harder. Yay, bud. Okay, don't love that. I have to answer these questions faster. I'm so scared I'm gonna get caught while I'm answering the questions. Wait, I think I I think I know where the last notebook is. Here? Yes! Oh my gosh. Yay, I did it. Yep. Right. Yep. Thank you. Yep. Okay. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, I'm very aware of this. Okay, that's one. Is that Baldi? Is he over there? I don't know if he's over there. Okay, here's another exit. Still very confused. Oh, good. Arts and crafters perusing the hallways as as a sock puppet does. He's going everywhere. 
That's very scary. Oh, oh my gosh, she's so fast. Yeah, that definitely makes the game a little harder. Having that dude just zipping through the hallways. Okay, this is it. This is the final moment. We get out of here. Wow, great job. Please try and do worse though. I need to Right. Okay. Wow. No. What is no? How do I where oh no. <laughs> We're gonna try null mode. Huh? Um what? Where What? Stop looking for me? Oh Ha! Good luck figuring out what to do now. Stop looking for me. No secrets here. You can quit now. What does this mean? This is so weird. I can't actually pick up the notebooks. And they all seem to say the same thing. Okay. You need to collect two notebooks before you Yeah, you yeah. The problem is, is I can't. I can't collect the notebooks. See, that's the, to collect the thing. Okay, here's the thing. I can't actually collect them. Guy? Baldy? Right click, maybe? What? Um, okay. That was a little scary. I don't know what's up with null mode, but I'd love to hear your guys' theories. And if you want me to try some different stuff, leave it in the comment section. However, Apparently, there are some new answers to Baldi's impossible question. That's right. We can actually answer Baldi's impossible question with correct answers in this version. What? I mean, we've got to try. All right, Baldi. We've solved the impossible question. Maybe. This is the first code that I've been told to try. 101-819-96. What is that? That's 10,181,996. Obviously, has always been the answer to your question. Welcome what? Basics in education and learning. You, you accepted this answer? What is this? What am I... Nothing happened. What is this? Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh, okay. I get it. This is, this is old school mode. If Baldi's Basics actually came out in 1999, this is so cool. Wow, okay. Um, I think Baldi liked that answer. We did it. We solved his impossible question. Okay, let's try another answer. 1121194. One, 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 nine, nine, 11,211,994. Also the answer to the impossible question. Let's go. Ep epilepsy warning. Highly unstability? What? What is this? Uh, okay, I'm a little worried about this one. Okay, what is this warning? Why did it give me this warning? Nothing seems weird yet. Oi! Okay, there's two baldies. That's a little weird. It's a little weird, right? Yeah. It. Yeah, okay, there's two baldies. That's what you've done? That's... That's what answering your question correctly has created two of you? Boy, oh, hey, hello. Uh, hi, playtime. Okay, yep, I, I hate this. I do not like answering baldies questions correctly. This is not good. Not good. But there's one more. All right. Let's see what this one does. It's a little weird that the answer to this question starts with a zero, but it's a tough question that deserves a tough answer, as we've learned. Okay. Just said find all the secrets first. All right, I don't like you anymore, Baldi, and I especially don't like you being remastered. Still don't know what that means.